What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Star Wars Black Series, the Mandalorian in Beskar armor. And so here we have the Mandalorian posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually take a look at his accessories. Mando here does come with three accessories. We do get his blaster which does fit into his right hand really nicely and it does fit into the holster as well. We get his pulse rifle which does fit in his hands and you can pose him like he's shooting it and then that also stores on his back. His final accessory is his jetpack which is a really nice accessory. I just kind of wish it was the same color as his armor and that he didn't have this plastic cape because there's no good way to pose him with the jetpack with this plastic cape which I'm more than likely going to end up replacing at some point. But anyway, that's all Mandal the Mandalorian comes with. So let's actually get him posed and take a closer look at the Beskar Armored Mandalorian. So here we have a closer look at Mando. Now there is some reuse in this figure. There are new parts. He's not 100% reuse, which I am glad that they did update the sculpt. For starters, the helmet is complete reuse. It's the exact same helmet that we got with the previous figure, which I have no objections to. It's a really nice, solid sculpt, and they did a really good job with it. As you can see, all the detailing is there, and unlike the previous release, this is actually a really clean helmet. Now, mine does have this little issue right here where they accidentally splotched the black paint, which it is a little bit disappointing, and then we have a little more blotches right here. As far as accuracy goes, it does look like the helmet from the show, so you gotta give Hasbro props for making the helmet look this nice. It does look really good. Now... I don't like this. This is a really nice sculpt for his cape, and it worked with the first outfit that he was wearing, but it doesn't really f fit with the Beskar armored Mando, only because he has a jetpack, and these ports do make it a little cumbersome to have the cape. When you have the jetpack on, the cape kind of like billows out like this, and it just doesn't look right. There's no way to pose him with the cape and the jetpack and make it look nice, which that is really disappointing. I would have liked this to be a soft goods cape, which it's not a big deal. I'll probably look into getting his cape replaced and just keep the plastic one on the first episode Mando. But yeah, there's really not much to say about the cape other than I don't like it. I hate it. It could be much better. You can see he does have his pauldrons right here, which do look really nice. I really like the detailing here. They capture all the line work from the show, which is one thing I do appreciate. So really good work there. And then on this side, we have his pauldron in which it has a mudhorn sigil right here, which is really nice. I do like that little touch. It looks really good. Going on to his undersuit, we do have his gauntlet right here, which it's not reused from his first release. This is actually an updated gauntlet, so that looks really nice, and it does have detail all the way around. On his left arm, we do have the Whistling Bird Salvo, which we do see him use quite a bit in the series. Really, really like that little detail. And you can actually see they added this little detail on his undersuit, so I do appreciate small little things like that. As far as his chest plate goes, this is his new chest plate. It is very different from his original release, which they did a good job capturing it, although it does feel a little bit small when you look at it compared to the rest of the figure. I feel like maybe it should be, I want to say, maybe 5% bigger. It's still a really solid sculpt and it looks nice. I just think that that could be a little bit bigger. You can see the undersuit under padding right here, especially right here on the side. We do have his thermal detonators right here going around his belt. We have some pouches and some of the pulse rifle. No, the pulse am pulse rifle ammo is right here on his leg. So yeah, we do have some more little canisters right there. His holster, of course, does holster his blaster. So if you don't want him holding it, there is that option. Now he is reused from the hips down. Everything from both legs is replicated from, or is the exact same as the first release. He didn't have a knee pad in the first series season, which is where this outfit comes from. That is a little bit of a detail that I wish they had looked into a little bit more. But it's not a big deal. I can live with that because he does have the knee pad in season two. So it's not that big a deal. We do have that pouch right here. 
We do have his shin guard right here with the pulse rifle ammunition. Some more Beskar plating right here. So overall, I really can't complain about the sculpt. Like I said, the way, one big issue I have with this figure is the cape. If they had used a soft goods cape, I would be much happier with it, but they didn't. They went with this clunky plastic cape, and it's not that great, unfortunately. So with his details out of the way, let's actually compare Mando to other figures you may have in your collection. And here we have the Mandalorian posed next to Marvel Legends, Cyclops, and the DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have the Mandalorian posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure in a Masco 112th Collective, Popeye the Sailor Man. And finally, here we have the Beskar Armor Mandalorian posed next to a Lightning Collection, White Ranger, and a Star Wars Black Series Episode 1 Mandalorian. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to his articulation. So the Mandalorian here sports the, I want to say new Black Series articulation, but it's not 100% new because he still uses some reuse. We do have a double ball joint here in the head, which does work really nicely. He can look up, can look down, can tilt his head side to side, which is really good. Then we do have a ball joint in the neck, which does let him look down even further. Let's him look up. Uh, that could be better, especially because he does come with a jetpack. Does tilt his head to the side, to the other side really nicely, and of course swivel. The arms do have a butterfly joint, which go back about that far, come forward only to about there. Go up and over his uh, shoulder right here, as you can see. I, I don't like the way his this bandolier fits. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't do it for me because there's a lot here that is just making him hard to pose, unfortunately. Like, you butt up. Everything butts up against itself. The cape, the bandolier, the shoulder armor. It It's functional, don't get me wrong, but it just butts up against itself and it makes him really hard to pose. Arms do a full 360, no bicep swivel, but we do have swivel here at the elbow. Single bend in the elbow going a little past 90 degrees. Then we have a swivel and vertical, well, horizontal hinge on the left hand, vertical hinge on the right hand as it should be. Then we do have a ball joint here in the torso, which works really good, as you can see. No problem moving side to side. Very minimal forward movement and some back. We also do get rotation here at the waist, which that does work. Legs are, of course, hindered. They do go out to the side pretty well. They go forward about that far. This leg, actually, they go a little bit better than the last one, so they did work on that a little bit. We do have thigh swivel. We have double bend at the knee. Works going up to about that far, so that works really nicely. Then we do have a, an ankle hinge, which goes back goes forward, and then forward-facing pin for rocker ankle. So overall, Mando here has pretty decent articulation. He's not going to be doing any kung fu poses, but you don't really need him to be doing that, so I'm overall happy with how he came out. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Mandalorian pose for my final thoughts, and overall, I really do like the way this figure came out. There are some things that I'm not a fan of, especially that hard candy shell cape that they gave him. It's a really nice sculpt, don't get me wrong, it looks good. However, it doesn't do this figure any justice, seeing as how you really can't pose him with the jetpack. The jetpack is something he really does use a lot, especially in Season 2, and the fact that he doesn't have a really good opportunity to wear it with this figure does kind of make the jetpack kind of useless. The jetpack also not being the right color is a little bit of a shame. I would have liked it if this jetpack was the same color as his Beskar armor. I think that would be the best thing for this figure. But overall, I'm still pleased with the way this figure came out. It is a really nice update to the original Mandalorian figure, which was only seen for about 20 minutes in the original in season one. And that is 100% true because w after the 20 minute mark, he does get his new pauldron and that figure is completely outdated. But I still really do enjoy how this figure came out. If you are looking for the Beskar Armor Mandalorian, he is available in retail right now, although he is pretty hard to find. A lot of people are going after him, especially with the craze of episode two or season two of the Mandalorian, which I really do recommend you check it out if you haven't already done so. Mandalorian is a really good show, especially if you're a fan of Star Wars and having a figure of the title character is something you really want to have if you're a Star Wars fan. 
With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other Star Wars videos. Hopefully, you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you'd like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection. I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. <laughs>